What's up guys, you probably clicked on this video because you saw the title and you want to learn how to play Gorilla Tag. You probably just got your headset for Christmas and you want to learn how to play Gorilla Tag. Well, you came to the right place. I'm going to be teaching you everything. In this video, I'm going to teach you all beginner stuff. I'm going to be teaching you advanced stuff in another video if you really want to learn. But let's get into it. By the way, if you want to skip through the video and learn different things, the timestamps will be in the description. Before you start anything, the first thing you want to work on is your boundary, your play space, the, the blue thing you drew in the beginning. So you want to make sure you have enough room to make just put your arms around to where you won't hit anything. I've hit lots of different things before, and you just want to make sure you're when you're not walking around and you're kind of you kind of know where you are in your play space to so like walk around, kind of feel where you are in your boundary. Running. Basics. Okay, what you want to do is the direction that the ground is flowing, you want to pull backwards. I see a lot of kids when they first start, they're jumping up. They're just hopping around. That's probably what you did yesterday. You pull along with the ground. So the direction the ground is going, see how it's going this way? That's the way you want to pull. You want to pull the di direction of the ground. So you're going to go one hand at a time, and when you pull back, make sure this hand isn't touching the ground. Because if I pull back, and my I can't get over here because this hand just got caught on the ground. So you want to go the direction of the ground. One, two, one, two, and then just fast, like one, two, pull with the ground. Wait till you your body reaches the ground before you put your hand down again. But going uphill is the same thing, except you're pulling down the direction of the ground. Usually what I see a lot of going on is like this. You're trying to push forward, but you keep getting knocked backwards because you're going up the hill. You want to pull with the ground. Okay, next thing. Usually people go straight to the pinch climbing, but I feel like the next thing you should learn is this, going up this ladder. This can really help with your hand-eye coordination because you need to be able to put your hands in the exact spot it needs to be in order to move. So what you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna go simple, one hand after the other, and you're gonna look back and forth. This is really good for training for everything else because it really helps your hand-eye coordination. You look, so you, it helps you feel where your hands are. So your hands are right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. The next thing you're gonna wanna know, pinch climbing. It's pretty much where you pinch climb up like this. It's very good for getting up to places. So pinch climbing can be used for various different things. It can be used for getting up trees. It can be used for getting up walls. That's another thing. It's a great way to get up walls as well. What you wanna do is you wanna put both hands on either side like you're grabbing onto something. So what you're gonna do down is you're gonna do like a, a circular shape, like a D, like a backwards D with this hand, regular D with this hand. But you're gonna be pulling towards yourself like on an angle like this when you go. So you're gonna go down and to yourself at the same time. What a lot of people do, and especially what happened with me, is I would just go like this, but then my arms, I would push outwards. You just wanna go like this. And these do get in the way, but you see your arms get in. So you wanna keep your body close as possible. And then you're gonna go one at a time, really slow, really slow. Sometimes what helps is you can look at your hands and see right here, I'm looking at my hand placement, just doing little circles, get up. It might take you a bit, but once you get this down, you should be good. Tree pinch climbing. It's the same thing, except you just have to adapt where your arms are gonna go. So see how it's angled like this? It's not gonna be a flat surface. You have to move your arms around the tree, just like with moving it around the ornament, it can help you move your hand around the tree. Branches, see how this branch is right here? Move it around, move it around, and that's an easy way to scale up trees. What you wanna do with this, this is very helpful with pretty much anything you do. What you wanna do is you wanna push flat down on the ground. If you can do that, just push flat. Instead of, don't push forward, don't push back, push flat to get yourself up. So when you do that, you're gonna push towards the wall. So you're gonna push towards it, and you see, you get half a second of stick. In Gorilla Tag, you get a half a second of stick, and then you start sliding off. You see, you get about one half second, and then you fall. So you go up, push this way, push straight and down at the same time, because if you keep pushing straight, you're not gonna go up. So you wanna push on an angle down, like this, like this, on an angle, like this. So you're gonna push flat on an angle. What I see a lot of people doing is they will push backwards and they'll end up going this way. You don't wanna do that and you don't wanna push backwards or forwards. So you're just gonna push straight down, straight, straight sideways, straight down like this. And then boom, you wanna find it and then boom, you got here. 
Branching is very self-explanatory. It's how you move through the trees. You're a monkey, you don't have legs, you use your arms to move only. So pretty much what you're gonna be figuring out is you have to figure out the distance between where you're gonna jump. So my hands are right here. You have, you have a certain amount of pressure. So if I push a little bit, I'm only gonna hop a little bit. If I push harder, I'm gonna go up. If I push medium, I'm gonna go medium, you see? You're gonna have to try to figure this out on your own. You have to try to figure out the, how hard you have to push to get there. So if I just push this direction and up at the same time, I'll get here. But you have to figure out how hard you have to push. So here, you don't really have to push that hard. It's just a little bit. Getting over here, you're gonna crawl around here, kind of figure out your hand placement. You gotta push, just feel the distance. Over here, feel the distance. And if you wanna get to this one, push a little bit harder, but you feel the distance. If you get a little short, you feel the distance and you can kind of pull yourself up. What I realized a lot when I first started is that sometimes I would push too far trying to get up. But when I get onto here, it's just slow. Your hand will stick. If you go too hard, your hand will slide off. Branching, there's a ton of different routes you can do. Routes are pretty much paths you take along the trees to get away from opponents when they chase you. So like going this way, maybe I want to jump here. Maybe I want to do a big leap smack on the ground and get to here. So that's pretty much branching. Pretty simple once you get used to it. If you just practice for a little bit, if you just practice branching, that's one of the things that can get difficult is branching. If you just practice it daily, every time you play, and it should be pretty easy. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is juking. Juking is the term you use whenever you're, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same thing as dodging. So if someone's chasing after you, like you chase me, like let's say you're someone's chasing you and I just randomly change directions and he's lost and I get to run away. Or, and then I'm going this way, but then I go this way. So I'm changing directions. The basic jukes you can learn is pretty much like a jumping juke. It's basically where you go up on something and let's say he's coming behind me. I go up on something and then I just push backwards and he's lost following me and I can change directions. With juking, you wanna be able to change directions very quickly to confuse your opponent. The next kind of juke you wanna learn is also another basic juke. It's pretty much where your opponent's chasing you and you just slam your body into the ground and you launch backwards and you can just run away. A great place to do this would be right here on this bridge. So let's say he's chasing behind me, it goes on a little incline and I push backwards and boom, he's lost and I can just run away. Another great juke to learn is where you grab any object that is kind of circular. You pretty much grab it as if you're pinch climbing and you just swing your arms around in like like in real life. You just swing your arms to the side like this. So imagine he's chasing me and I jump up and I swing my arm around and boom, I instantly change directions. You can do this on here, pushing around, swinging around like that. There are many places you can do this kind of juke. Another juke, but imagine he's chasing me what I wanna do is I wanna jump, slide my arm through here, and I'm gonna rotate my body similar to the spinning juke we did on the pole, and then swing your arm this way. Completely can confuse the opponent. So here's a perfect example. So I'm running over here, and I'm boom, this way, this direction, he's lost. <laughs> Learning how to use the walls. A lot of people do this, and a lot of experienced people do this. This is something, I'm just gonna show you how to do it so you can come back and learn after you've learned everything else. The first thing you wanna learn is how to get up the wall. Just getting up the wall so you can do other things once you get up. This is what's called wall climbing. So what you want to find is a kind of split in the a split in the wall to learn it. Like you could do it over here, there's a split right here. You could do it over here, there's a split right here. Um, you can do it over here. The best places I would recommend is doing it over here, over that that corner, and this corner. This corner is a great one because it's a very tight turn and it's a very good one to practice on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump up and you're gonna launch yourself on the wall and it's gonna be almost like if you if you skied before it's like skiing almost it's where you bring your arms to your body almost and you're kind of pushing down at the same time so this is gonna be the position of your hands like this on an angle it's almost like you did with wall bouncing over there but it's just on the walls so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand on the wall and you're gonna push sideways and down at the same time like on an angle look at where my arms are going they're going down here. So my arms are gonna be going like this. So I'm gonna be pushing down, 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 jumping up, grabbing, jumping up. Once you think you've gotten pretty good and you wanna get higher, ideally on this wall, it starts to get a little bit tight. So on a great wall you can do it on is this one over here. This is where I learned. So you jump, 
you push just like that. What I would recommend doing at first is doing really big ones so you can kind of get used to it. And you'll kind of figure it out on the way, along the way, but you're gonna figure out exactly when you should push. Cause if you push too early, you'll start sliding like that. If you push too late, you'll also slide down. But if you can time it just right, time the push right when you hit the wall, you can get up the wall. Wall running. So let's say you got up here. You got up on the wall as much as you want. Wall running is very self-explanatory. Running on the wall. Everybody has their own strategies, but it's kind of something I've learned you kind of have to like figure out. So you're just gonna be pushing kind of straight down. But what you wanna do is you wanna push on the angle of the wall. So for example, see how the wall is going in this direction? That's kind of where you're gonna push down so you can get some height. A great place to try this on is over here. See, watch my hands. My hands are kind of curved on the angle of the wall. So the wall is going like this, and that's where I'm pushing my hand. My hand is angled along the wall, and it's gonna be pushing kind of straight. Like your, your arm is gonna be kind of close to your body like this. I would learn it on both arms because it's very helpful in the future. So you kind of have to kind of adapt to where the wall is going. So if the wall's going like this, I wanna go down here. If the wall's going like this, Got to go up here. Some people do walls with their fist. They think their fist is the way to go. I don't personally do it, but it doesn't really matter. Some people push like this, hands flat on the wall. It really doesn't matter. It depends on how you feel. So what you can do is you can kind of go up the wall by doing that. It's a feel. You kind of have to feel you're going to be pushing kind of straight down, but you're gonna be pushing with the wall on an angle, like what I did with the wall, kind of keeping my hand by my body. And what you can do with that, there is a name for it, it's called wall scaling. And you kind of just like push down to kind of get up the wall. Okay, the most important thing you can learn in this game is to be nice. There are gonna be a lot of new kids. So if you learn anything from this video, please teach them as well. And most of all, subscribe if you learned anything new in this video, right? Shouldn't they do that? Shouldn't they subscribe? What else should they do? What else should they do? Join the Discord if you want to be a part of any of my videos. Mini games! Yeah, if you want to play mini games, which is like sharks and minnows and all sorts of different things. So, I'm going to be coming out with an advanced tutorial soon. Keep watch for that if you get really good at everything that you learned in this video. Peace out, and always remember that rice stinks. <laughs>